Today we're opening a 2004 Blackluster Soldier tin. What's up guys, we're back with another video. In this video, we are opening something I've never opened before, a 2004 OCG. Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning 10. This is a very interesting 10 because first of all, OCG 10s, we have not opened most of those. We've opened, I think, every TCG 10 basically at this point. Maybe a couple we haven't opened, but almost every single one. This is an OCG one and it comes with, not the Blackluster Soldier, but a Chaos Emperor Dragon inside. I don't know why. Maybe if you guys are from over in Japan or somewhere where OCG products are sold, you will know why they have like a promo on the front or like a picture on the front, you know, Yugi and the Blackluster Soldier and then they have a different promo. Let me know, because I have no idea. It's very weird, very confusing. There's also like, I think seven packs in here, which have some interesting names, which we're gonna go through when we get through them. But first, we do have a giveaway. We have a Turbo Pack 6 Sangan. So we just opened Turbo Pack the other day. Go check that video out. This is not one we pulled, but one of the ones that we pulled, I put into my deck and I replaced this one, which was like moderately played or maybe lightly played. So I'm giving away my old copy. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about these OCG 10s. Should we try and find more of them? Should we open more up? I'm pretty excited because the Chaos Ember Dragon is an ultimate rare. So it's going to be beautiful. Okay. Let's go. This I did get from Kaz as well. He sold me a bunch of really cool products, so I'm pretty excited. He actually might know why there's a different different promo in there, but uh, let's see. Let's open this thing up. This is going to hurt a little bit because, honestly, this is a very beautiful tin. Just like, you know, they got the, the Spellbinding Circle going on here. They got the Black of the Soldier. They got Yugi, like, looking serious right there, which is really amazing. I mean, it just looks really awesome. And then there's, like, this... I don't know why this is back here, like, but under the stuff so you can't really see what's on the back of the tent it's kind of weird i don't know we're just gonna open it up let's do this cut this thing open it's a little painful but that's what we got to do for the channel you know open up the product that's what we do around here all right here we go we have okay so there was nothing on the back see look at this completely blank which is very interesting booster pack collector's 10 2004 that's all i can read well i guess Yu-Gi-Oh and konami we can read those but the rest unintelligible made in japan there we go we got that so Japanese, let's see what's inside. I'm actually really excited to see this promo. Ooh, check it out. All right, here we go. Here's how it looks. So they got a little bit of a setup here. They actually give you a pretty cool plastic thing. I mean, it actually fits the cards. Unlike us, we didn't get anything cool like that. Let's put this back like this. All right, so we have our promo, which is just wrapped in this, which I really hope doesn't damage the card. And then we have seven different packs that we're gonna be opening. I'm gonna be showing you guys like what is potentially able to pull in there. A lot of ultimate rares, like from the original stuff, which is cool. This 10, by the way, I forgot to mention, came out January, 2004. So if you compare it to a 2004 10 from the English set, we'll kind of see what the difference is. In ours, we got five packs, we got one promo. They get a promo on seven packs, but I think they get less cards per pack or something. So. Let's open this thing up. I think we have opened one OCG 10 before, but it was not this one. It was one with a not as exciting of a promo, I think. It was like a, what was it? I can't remember. So there, let's get that off. And then we have, this is in plastic, which is really cool. Should we open this and see if we can grade it? Is the question, oh wait, it looks like there might be a little ding on the back. I still want to open it up though. Dang, it's a little damaged, unfortunately. Yeah, you can tell. Definitely not a great candidate, but really beautiful card. Check this out. Ultimate Rare CED as a promo. Can you imagine? Back in the day, OCG, they always had Ultimate Rares from right off the bat. We did not. So, I mean, I guess they didn't always, but from early on, they had o or Ultimate Rares. It didn't take so long. Then we have a bunch of different packs. I don't actually know how to tell which is which, but I'm going to read them off from the wiki, basically. We have Threat of the Dark Demon World. I don't know if that's this one, but I, I could see it. Then uh, Controller of Chaos. Let's see if these fit. Yeah, Chaos makes sense. Then we have Invader of Darkness, which is hilarious because that's the name of a secret rare in Invasion of Chaos. Could be it. It has the demock on the back. Then we have Sanctuary in the Sky. This appears to be Sanctuary in the Sky. And then we have Duelist Legacy Volume 3 through 5. So 3, 4, and 5. That actually makes sense. So we can see those at the bottom because they're in English. But So it looks like they are in order. There's a bunch of different ultimate rares and parallel secret rares to pull. So let's go by one by one and see what we can get. So first, we'll be starting off with the Threat of the Dark Demon World. I'm going to be reading a little bit because, you know, I don't know what this stuff is. I've never actually done it before. But the best cards in here, so the high rarity is Ultimate Rare. Then there's an Ultra Parallel Rare, which I'm not sure what that looks like, but I assume it's like gold lettering with like the parallel all the way across the card. Sounds like a pretty cool rarity. And then there's Ultra Rare, Super Rare, and Rare. And then, of course, Common. So those are kind of what we're looking for. The Ultimate Rares in this set are Terror King Archfiend and Archfiend of Guilford, which are pretty random. I mean, but they are like... You know, it kind of fits with the theme of the of the set, even though there is a summon skull here. Been a pretty cool ultimate rare, which they do, I think, have an ultimate rare. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. I think the best way to do it is open it from the bottom. Does it say how many cards are in here? Guess what? Let's find out. It probably does say, and I can't read it. <laughs> That's probably how it goes. 
OCG. We have not done a ton of these old OCG openings. One, because it's really hard to find the product. Two, because I don't know a lot about it. And three, because it's expensive. So a lot of options. But uh, we're going to try and do some of it. Okay, how many cards is this? Probably five. They're very hard to, like, slide the cards. They're very, like, frictiony. I don't know if that's the right word. Here we have a card that I do not know what it is. So we're just going to have to keep going and see if we can find some cards. Ooh, Cestus of Dogla. I do remember this one. Very, very cool. We're still recording. Let's make sure. We have, what is this? Okay, this is, I think this is a changed artwork. We got, we have like an errata of the artwork. What do you call that? It's not an errata. It's a, a censoring, I guess. I don't know. So, and then I think this is the last card. No, two more, two more. Rux and special. We've got the, uh, what is this? Exchange of this? No, I want to say Mario Kutai, but that's not right. And then we have, oh, this is the, the, the Zork spell. The, uh. Something for Zork. It's his ritual spell. I don't remember what it's called, but also you don't get a guaranteed foil in these. So it's super old school. Not even a guaranteed rare. So look how like glossy these cards are too. They're super nice. But the problem is like you try to like do like this and they just really stick together. Very cool. So that's our first set. We're hoping to pull any foil at all. I just dropped the cards. If we pull like an ultimate rare, we're losing it because that's going to be probably really hard rates. I don't know what they are, but let's move on to the next thing. Next up, we have controller of chaos. So I believe this is the controller of chaos pack. Inside of this, the ultimate rares we can pull. Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. I mean, if we pull that, that's insane. I mean, we're, we opened the tin. We got the wrong promo. It's the right promo, technically, but weird that it's not this. But the Ultimate Rare is in here. You can also get the Magician of Black Chaos, which is funny because they have the Dark Magician of Chaos in the other set, but they have Magician of Black Chaos. So Magician of Black Chaos would be an amazing one to pull. I've seen that one before. It looks really, really good. So does the BLS. So that'd be awesome. The Ultra Parallel Rare is a Dark Mirror Forest. Blacklister Soldier on the Envoy at the beginning, so it's in both rarities, which is cool. Strike Ninja, Dark Mirror Forest, and another Black... Oh, that's an Ultra Rare Blacklister Soldier. So he's in here three different times with three different rarities. Very cool. All right, if we can pull any of those, even an Ultra Rare would be pretty cool. If we get any of the ultis, though, if you guys remember, we actually did... No, I've opened two of these tins, because we opened one and we pulled a uh, just a regular Blackluster Soldier, and that was for a viewer. That was an amazing pull. One of our best pulls ever, probably. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull something good. So this is the guy from Rocky. I... I I don't know if this is inspired by the guy from Rocky, but it definitely is. Look at it. That is inspired by the guy from Rocky. I've, that's all I've got to say. I don't know for that for sure, but I just feel that way. Okay. Ojama Yellow. Very nice. Very cool. Ooh, Grenmaju de Aiza. That's a good pull as well. We've got an Ojama Delta Hurricane. Also pretty amazing. Let's see what we can get here. This is, It was upside down, so hopefully that means we got something. Maybe I should flip it over like this. It was upside down. Let's see if we can... Get something cool. Come on, ultimate rare. Ah, oh, Jerlago. Hey, it was something. It's a rare, so it's just technically not guaranteed. So we got a Jerlago. Pretty amazing looking card. That foiling is, uh, or not foiling, that's a uh, glossiness is really nice looking. We'll take it. Next up, Invader of Darkness. And I don't mean the card, I mean the set. Invader of Darkness inside. Ultimate rare. There's only one. Exodia the Forbidden One. We've been searching for Exodia. What if we pulled Exodia out here in Ultimate Rare? That would be amazing. There's also Inside Princess, Black Tyranno, and Dark Magician of Chaos as Ultra Parallel Rares. Ultra Rare and Ultra Parallel Rare. Very confusing to read on, the, on this website. All right. Can we pull that Exodia Ultimate Rare? We have given away one of those before. So if we pulled one, it'd be pretty cool. Let's go. Let's pull the Exodia Ultimate Rare. Gotta believe. Okay. Come on. Got to be careful with these packs because they're actually super nice. Like, they're very hard to open, which is probably a good thing. All right, upside down again on the back, which is weird. We have Begone Knave with the giant hand. And we're not talking about giant hand. We're talking about Begone Knave. Skull Marked Ladybug. Is this Skull Marked Ladybug or Skull Marked Ladybug of Doom? I can't remember the difference. Is there a difference? There might be two different cards. We've got the Cannonball Spear Shellfish. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. And Amphibious Bugroth MK3, I think. And then I think this is the last card here. Let's flip this over. We have a Stray Lambs. That's a rare as well. So we're actually like not pulling that bad. We're getting rares, which is not what we want. We want foils, but still not too bad. All right, Sanctuary in the Sky Time. This is also a hollow foil card in the TCG that they, I, mean, I guess, came from a set. It was inspired by an entire set. Here it is. Sanctuary in the Sky. The ultimate rare in here is Jinzo, which is pretty cool. That would be a pretty amazing one. It's not even the cover card, which is interesting. Blowback Dragon, Agent of Judgment, Saturn, and Artsword Zerato come as ultra rares, ultra parallel rares. Oh, Artsword Zerato also comes as an ultimate rare. Maybe in the last one there was an ultimate rare that I missed. They started mixing them together. They were listing them separately at first on the other sets, and now they're not. So I'm probably just reading it wrong, but there should be two ultis, I guess. Archlord Zerato would be cool, but obviously Jinzo. I mean, come on. 
That's the one we want. Simo actually gave me one of those, which is pretty cool in Ultimate Rare. So that would be pretty awesome if we could pull that. We've got a, oh, what is this? Agent of Creation. What is this, Venus? I can't remember which one this is. We've got a Beckoning Light for those Light Sword decks. Very nice. Ooh, the uh, Nijitsu Art of Transformation, I think? Wall of Revealing Light was banned or like limited for a long time. And then we have, come on, give us the Jinzo. We've got, uh, is this Thousand Needles, maybe? Something like that? It's one of those. Okay, all right, we've got, we've got some needles. So far, no foils, but that's kind of expected. Now we're on the Duelist Legacy Volume 3. This has the Blade Knight Ultimate Rare inside, which would be cool. There's also Dark Necro, Fear, Churchill Tribute, Mass Beast, and Thousand Inch Restrict as Ultra Parallel Rares and Ultra Rares. I don't see another Ultra Ultimate Rare in here, but maybe there is. Maybe I'm just missing it, but... Uh, we would take the Blade Knight. That'd be cool. That's a nice GOAT format card. I would take any Ultima Rare. I'd be very happy, even if it's not a card I'm necessarily looking for. Let's go. We have Attack and Receive. Beautiful. We've got a Rux and Special first one. It's hard to do with these cards, okay? Mask of Weakness. We've got the Drill Bug, I think. Okay, we've got... Uh, I don't remember this card. I, I kind of recognize it, but I don't remember what it's called. And then we have a... Oh, I thought it might be it with the 2K. And then... Wait, that's no, not really 2K, but it threw me off. Soul of Purity and Light. It is basically 2K a lot of the time. Two packs to go on a Duelist Legacy Volume 4. This time, the ultimate rare is my Insect Queen. Can we pull it for Weevil? That would be amazing. We have Total Defense Shogun as well, Mirror Force, and Barrel Dragon, all ultra parallel rares. I don't see another ultimate rare, so Insect Queen. Here we come. Do it for all those Pecanio Moth fans out there. Let's see if we can do it. This would be the ulti we would pull. I don't know why there's not a Pecanio ulti, but this will be close enough, I guess. All right, Duelist Legacy Volume 4. Let's go. We have... What is this guy? He's one of the guys in TP1 that's like a fusion material. I can't remember his name, though. Machine King, I remember that. Crass Clown, I remember that one. We've got... This is a TP Exile of the Wicked. I mean, it's like a TP2 card or 3. And then we have a... Oh, Garnesia Elephantis. Just a regular common, but... Ours was a super rare for some reason, Metal Raiders, but okay, pretty cool. And we're on to the final pack. We have not pulled a foil. Volume 5, will it be the first foil? What's the ultimate rare? Perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Even better. It's even better than the Pecanio Moth. That'd be a pretty amazing pull. Fusio Richie, Guardian Sphinx, Hinagu, Hino Kagasuchi, and Dark Ruler Hades are ultra parallel rares. Let's see what we can pull. Come on. Let's pull something big out of this epic Blackluster Soldier tin. I mean, the... Even if we don't get anything, we got the Chaos Emperor Dragon Ultimate Rare, which is pretty awesome. Let's see if we can pull the Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. I need to buy some of those for my collection, let's be honest. We've got the one with all of the dudes, all the Scorpion guys on there. Pretty cool. I think it's Dark Scorpion Combination, maybe? Oh, wait. No, this is a monster. I don't know what this is. Okay. Uh, Twin Headed Behemoth. Very nice. I don't know. Something about a scroll, probably. We've got Dragon Manipulator, maybe? I think that's his name. And then our final card from this tin. It's been a fun opening so far. Not great pulls, but very difficult to pull good stuff out of these tins. Let's see. Let me know if you want to see more of this. And we've got a Legacy of Darkness card. And it is... What is the Legacy of Darkness card? It's... I can't remember the name. All right. We didn't pull anything great in this one, but it was still a lot of fun to open. But we did get this amazing Ultimate Rare Chaos Emperor Dragon, which is pretty, pretty amazing by itself. So I really like this card. Unfortunately, no pulls. But maybe next time, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.